There's a new budget option out there for our Zoom Wash Par style lights. And I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on the B-Topper 7x40 LED mover. Well, hey guys, Ryland here. If you're new to the channel, I'm a worship and media arts pastor and I'm always looking for budget solutions for our technology needs. And I've reviewed a few different lights similar to this light, the Boulder 19 by 15s, the Sheds version versus the Chave R2X washes. And uh, B-Topper reached out and asked if I would take a look at these. So they sent me a couple of these lights to check out. And I just thought I'd give you guys my thoughts about should your church invest in some of these budget option LED movers? So off the bat, they are very similar to the Boulder and Sheds versions of these lights, but it has one little party trick that you've seen. It is this prism mirror ball kaleidoscope kind of thing that's built in to the light that you can kind of call up via DMX and have some fun and different kind of gobo-ish looks along with the zoom wash beam effect. So these B-topper lights are 7 by 40 watt. Uh, it's 4 in 1 LED, so RGBW. But the trick of this light is this kind of spinning prism effect that it can do. And it's really neat. I'm actually going to be utilizing this effect in a really slow, kind of moody way on Easter Sunday coming up for a certain song that we're doing. And uh, let's talk about though the build quality of this light, what you get for the really budget price that they offer. Size-wise, weight, it's actually a little bit smaller than the other lights that I've talked about. More similar to like a Chave uh, Intimidator 255 IRC. It's pretty plasticky. Um, it does have PowerCon in and out, three pin DMX in and out, and then a power switch with a fuse. On the front, you have just navigation there for your menu system with the buttons on screen. Pretty much standard. One difference is that on the bottom of this light, you only have to have one bracket to hang it from a truss. Speaking of DMX, this light operates either in 12 channel or 18 channel mode. I do have a profile, I believe for the 18 channel mode that I got built together with Jans after I had some kinks trying to build it myself. So I will link to that in the description of this video. If you're a Jans Vista user, it's like the newest version three version that you'll have to have. Uh, but now it works great with the help of them uh, getting that fixture profile built for me. And so I'll share that below. If you need to build this yourself for Onyx or a different system, the one thing you need to know is that the strobe DMX number value has to be in the open position by default or you won't have any output of the light. So as I've compared this to our Boulder lights, the zoom range is considered 4.5 to 45 degrees and it's actually a little bit tighter of a beam than I can get with my boulders at the same locations. It gets really wide on a super wide wash, very handy. Uh, one difference is that, I guess it's because maybe the prism thing, the circle of light is not a circle. It's kind of ends up being more of a rectangular square type thing. But if you're used to working with ellipsoidals, it's rare that you actually have um, a circle of light with, you know, ellipsoidal type shuttering of light. So I don't think that's a huge deal, but just know that if that is a deal breaker for you. One thing I was noticing while reviewing these lights is that there's not a lot of fan noise. So I'm here in my quiet office-ish. You're hearing the audio from this Tascam DR10L. I'm going to turn this on. So I do hear the fans kick on. Once it gets going, let's listen for fan noise. The fan is not on, so I had these running for 30 minutes and the fan didn't kick on like that. So if it is running, it's really quiet. But it's definitely not a perfect light. Let's talk about the downsides. First of all, when powered off, this little light just goes bloop. <laughs> and I, it's just a little disconcerting to me that every time it powers off, it's just gonna 
plop down like that. So I wish it would stay in its kind of home location like all of my other lights do, but it's not the end of the world. Another downside to these lights, for me at least, was when I opened these two lights up, the menu system was not set to be in English, so I kind of had to dig around, go to that bottom menu, click on different buttons till I found English. So uh, just be aware of that. <laughs> So who is this light for? Well, it's for a church that is on a budget that needs some flexibility with their effect lighting. Maybe that beam look, maybe that wash look, maybe one of these Gobo-y style prism effects. This light can do that really for uh, not much money. And you could go a couple routes. You can purchase these on Amazon and you know get them trusted there and get them shipped to you quickly. Or you can also go on the B-Topper website uh, and I'll have a link to those down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything. Actually, the B-Topper website will save you a little bit more money in the long run. And that's an affi affiliate link as well. Just so you know, they did send me two of these to check out and uh, I get to keep them. So I am just adamant though that if you see a review and I'm recommending it on my channel, it's something we're actually using. So I've been sent many products that I just don't end up doing the review because I don't wanna tell you guys to use something. Uh, or waste my time telling you not to use something. So just know, yes, I would recommend these lights for the price. All right, so that's the mini 7x40 watt RGBW 4-in-1 BI LED moving head light. Really short and memorable name. <laughs> no, not really, but if you just search for B-topper 7x40 or B-topper moving headlight, you'll find these little guys. All right, well, if you have any questions about these lights, let me know in the comments, guys. I will link right here to another video of maybe a previous review of some of these similar style lights that I've done before. But remember, guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.